Atom Vertical is the best way to stream and record vertical content in 2024. Even if you use TikTok Live Studio, I still recommend this. Here is how to set it up along with some tips and tricks for using it, including how to multi-stream from one client. So this is for Windows or Mac users and it's great both if you're live streaming and or recording vertical content. What you just want to start by doing is close both Live Studio if that's open and alongside that close OBS if that's open. If you don't have OBS yet, go on the website, I'll put it in the description and download and run the installer. The order here is important because next up we're going to download and run the Atom Vertical installer which needs OBS installed first. And then go ahead and open OBS and if you can't see the vertical canvas like I've got on the right hand side, click on Docs and check Vertical Scenes, Sources and Vertical and if you use the transitions, turn on those as well. And you could use your previous scenes, sources and settings but we're going to start fresh and if you want to join me in that, start by clicking Profile and click on New. I'll just generically name mine landscape plus vertical, but you could go with something like Twitch and TikTok. Click the button to show the auto config wizard and press OK. We're going to optimize this for streaming and press next. And it's talking here about the landscape canvas. So I'm going 1920 by 1080 with 60 FPS and choose your primary landscape streaming service. If you're not streaming, just choose the custom option and type anything into the box. Go ahead and connect your streaming account for that platform. For testing purposes, I'll just use the custom option. I'm going to check the hardware encoding box, but crucially, we're going to uncheck estimate bitrate. And you can set this between six and 9,000 for a 1080p landscape live stream and we'll press next and we'll press apply and we now have some decent settings what i'm also going to do is click on scene collection and click on new and i've given it a similar name i've called mine landscape and vertical scenes and that'll give us a whole new set of scenes and sources which are blank so let's set up some basic scenes and sources for both landscape and vertical and we'll do a full camera one and we'll do the desktop display with your camera so firstly, you've probably got scene on the left here. I'm going to right click rename and I've called mine camera scene and none of these sources hit the plus button, choose video capture device, rename it to the name of your camera and press OK and then find the correct camera. I'll choose my Logitech stream cam. Typically, you want to use a custom resolution because it won't add it in the correct quality. I'll set mine to 60 FPS in 1080p. Usually the other settings are fine and I'll press OK. If you need to resize it, you can click on it and drag the corners to move it around. You can also hold Alt and drag the squares to crop it. But for me, that's fine. So I'm just going to lock it in place. Under these scenes, I'm hitting the plus button. I've named mine computer display scene. You could just name yours gameplay, something like that. Just press OK. Under these sources, we're going to start by adding a display capture. I've named mine screen 2 because I've got a few different screens. I'll find the correct screen, capture the cursor, press OK. Again, you can click on it. You can drag the corners if you need to move it around. Lock it in the place when you're happy and you can add your camera, which should already be there. So add existing, my Logitech stream cam. And of course, this time we don't want it big. So I'll click on it and I'll just drag the squares down. And if you want to center it properly, I'm going to right click transform and center vertically and lock it in place when you're happy. So now we've got some basic landscape scene set up. But of course, we're missing the microphone. So let's click into settings. And this is shared between both vertical, that's Atom Vertical and landscape. Under desktop audio, I'm going to pick my headset or speakers. Underneath mic, I'll choose my quadcast. And that is it. We'll press OK. And now let's set up Atom Vertical for our vertical live streaming or recording canvas. I'm going to right click vertical scene and click rename. I'm basically going to call these scenes the same thing, but I'm going to add the word vertical in front. So this one is the vertical camera scene. And underneath the vertical sources, I can hit the plus button and it's actually already been added again. So I'll just choose Logitech Stream Cam. And of course, we have to click on it and resize it for the vertical canvas. And again, as a tip, you can right click transform. This time we're centering it horizontally. When you're happy, lock it into place and let's repeat this step. You can definitely get a better name than me. I've called it vertical computer display scene. And again, we just repeat this step of adding in our display capture, which is already there. I'm going to put mine in the bottom two thirds of the camera shot like this. I'll once again transform and center horizontally and I'll add in the camera again and I'll lock the screen in place first so I don't accidentally click on that. 
And then I'll resize this until it fits nicely with my display. And I'm once again gonna transform center horizontally and lock it into place. So we've now got a basic canvas set up for both landscape and vertical. Here's a little trick you can do. If I right click the vertical camera scene, click on linked scenes, I can link it with the landscape one. So I'll click on camera scene. And if likewise, I right click the computer display, click on computer display, Look at the left, if I click between them, you can see they are now nicely linked together. If you're looking for weekly tips and tricks to monetize and grow your live streams, you can check out my free live success newsletter. We also send the latest streaming news, which keeps you up to date. Once again, that is free. I send it every week. It is in the description. All right, now we've got eight and vertical set up. Let's look at some of the fun stuff we can do with it. And we'll start with live streaming. And if you're thinking you're stuck on live studio, as a reminder, you can get a stream key from a free to join TikTok live agency. I'll put this page in the description, but this page explains literally everything you need to know, including this video explainer if you wanna go fully in depth. Basically, just about every single question you've got about why they're free and how you get a stream key from them is answered on this page. I'll put it in the description. So I strongly suggest you get off Live Studio and use just OBS, but I will show later on how you can link this with Live Studio if you're still planning to use Live Studio. So let's look at the streaming capabilities of Atom Vertical. And I'm gonna start by clicking on the right onto its settings cog. I'm gonna click into streaming. If I scroll to the top of the page, you can see you can actually multi-stream with it as well. So all you have to do is keep adding the stream keys for the different platforms you wanna live stream on. So you just press the add button. You can see I've already added in TikTok. And don't forget, if you have a TikTok stream key, that changes every time. I could click add and I could also add in Instagram. And by the way, most people can get an Instagram stream key. For Instagram, you just need a professional account. You click create, you click live video, it will generate you a stream key. And then we just copy this into Atom. I'll put a slightly longer Instagram stream key guide in the description. And you can also stream on YouTube Shorts, by the way. And here's a guy telling me that he followed my YouTube Shorts streaming tutorial and got over 60K subs on YouTube Shorts streaming. So to get your YouTube stream key anywhere on YouTube, click create and click on go live. I'll do this quickly. So I'll hit schedule stream. I'll click onto a pre use stream. I'll reuse the settings and I'll make it unlisted just because obviously I'm not actually going to go live with this one. And I'll press done. And you can use one of the pre generated stream keys in the bottom left. You can see above my head or you can right click and manage stream keys or create new stream keys. Then just make sure you copy the correct stream key back into a and vertical. Again, you'd have to click add and add in YouTube and add the server URL and the stream key here. For now, we'll just stick with a pretend TikTok and Instagram dual multi-stream and video bitrate here. It's going to send 6,000 to both. So in this case, you would have to make sure you've got at least 12K, that's 12 meg of upload speed. And of course, you need more than that because you need to upload game data and whatever else your computer is doing. So again, make sure you've set between 6,000 and 9,000 if you want a decent quality 1080p live stream. And I suggest we create a new profile earlier on that you just use the main OBS settings. And then these are deliberately grayed out so you can ignore everything here. We made a new profile earlier on and that gave us great streaming settings. And make sure you enable everything because I didn't enable TikTok there. So I would just have been streaming on Instagram there. And of course you could set a hotkey for streaming if you wanted to press okay to save all the settings and then you can see it's added a little arrow here you could just start tiktok or instagram or you can just press start all and the green button would do the same thing and then you'd be live on all your vertical platforms and of course you could start streaming to twitch youtube kick etc using the landscape controls here now some of you will still be stuck on tiktok live studio but no worries there's a workaround and i still strongly suggest using atom vertical if we click in to the vertical settings in general we've got the virtual camera so if you're live streaming on tiktok in vertical mode choose vertical if you're in landscape choose main unfortunately compatibility mode has been removed for most people right now but if it's back and you're using compatibility mode then choose the both option so i'll choose vertical for the virtual camera so now let's turn on the vertical virtual camera that's a bit of a mouthful let's click on it and what this is going to do it's going to send our entire vertical feed to tiktok live studio but first we need to add it into live studio so add scene in the bottom left corner i'll choose the blank option click on add source choose camera and underneath your camera find the obs virtual camera 
Make sure it's 1080 by 1920 in 60 FPS and click add source. I'm being silly and adding it on the wrong canvas. So now I've clicked into portrait mode in the top left and added it in the correct place. You can click on camera on the left and you see you've got stretch to screen here. And now this is our entire OBS feed now inside Live Studio. And all you have to do is click onto the audio settings down here and make sure you've got an appropriate microphone and computer speakers or headset added. Now, why am I suggesting you use the Atom Vertical virtual camera instead of just setting up the whole stream inside Live Studio? Well, there's a few nice features that Atom Vertical has, and one of those is Backtrack. So what Backtrack does, it records the last few seconds of your live stream as a video clip when you press the Backtrack button. So if you just had an insane gaming moment or any moment from your live stream, you just press the Backtrack button or a hotkey, and it saves a nice vertical video clip so you don't have to edit landscape into vertical. So let's look at the configuration for that. I'll click into the settings. And the main one here is running backtrack while streaming or recording. If you want it always on, you can check that option. The recording length is up to you. You probably will have to cut it down a little bit in a video editor. Typically anywhere from 15 seconds to 120 seconds is people's preference. And of course, I've chosen a recording path and I've chosen Alt-R to save the clip. So let's say I've hit a Ace in Valorant, for example. I'll just press Alt plus R on my keyboard and it's automatically saved a clip of the last 60 seconds. You could, of course, also, if you own a Stream Deck or something like that, you could get this on your Stream Deck as well. So Backtrack is fantastic for recording clips while you're live streaming, but it's also great just for recording vertical content in general. And if you've ever seen a short on my YouTube channel or a TikTok on the live tutorials TikTok page, that is always recorded using Atom Vertical. And it's pretty simple to record. Let's check the settings to start with. I'm in recording. And again, to keep it simple, we set up a good profile earlier on. So I'm using the main OBS settings at the bottom. And I'm setting my video bitrate to 6,000, just the same as the live stream. You could maybe up this to 10,000 for slightly high quality if you wanted to. And you can set a hotkey. I don't really use this because you don't really need a hotkey when you're just recording. I just prefer just to press this red button to start and stop recording, but you can do what you want. Again, you could also bind that to your stream deck. And of course, choose an appropriate recording path. And again, it's fantastic because you've got both landscape and vertical in one place. So you could use it to record landscape YouTube content while you're recording TikToks at the same time. And just finally, we looked at most of the settings, but I didn't put the audio bitrate in, but somewhere in the hundreds is usually good for an audio bitrate. And just on the help tab here, Atom has some fantastic help documents as well as a very helpful Discord. So if you don't want to join me in my Discord to ask questions, you can also use theirs as well. So once again, I strongly suggest that you get a free stream key from a free to join agency. I'll put my video about that on the screen now so you don't have to use Live Studio with this. And also, if you're streaming Minecraft, check out this video here with five different great plugins for TikTok Live Minecraft, including just one block.